these monarch butterflies are wintering in Mexico. And for the first time in years, their population has grown. This year in particular, there were weather conditions which were favorable for the butterflies upon their return and which provided certain stability during reproduction in the U.S. state of Texas. The insects fly 4,000 kilometers north through the United States to Canada for the summer. Their lives are too short to complete the journey, so they make a multi-generational migration every year. But that journey makes the monarchs vulnerable to climate change. If the weather conditions are wrong in one place, it throws off their root and their breeding, which has been honed over millennia. Without a doubt, climate change is a very complicated regional threat, and we're still identifying the impact and the effects over the migration route, but also within the hibernation colonies. It's worrying in terms of the extreme meteorological events. We would need to be prepared for them, and that's completely unpredictable. Many scientists say because they're so sensitive, monarch butterflies are a good insight into ecological change in the Americas. And though the population has recovered slightly this year, it had declined 97% over the last two decades. Climate isn't the only threat. Conservation projects along the migration route try to preserve the butterfly's habitat, as well as cut down on pesticides. This good news fortifies us, spreads the word that yes, it is possible to preserve our natural resources, but that the threats that we all face, like climate change, are still there, so the battle isn't yet won. When these insects open their distinctive orange wings, it sets the trees ablaze. But without more years of near-perfect weather conditions like this one, they may not be taking flight for much longer. Arabella Munro, TRT World.